it's uh, 10 past 10 uh, on Saturday morning, 27th July. Um, yet more videos, uh, people having problems with uh, parasites and water and, and what have you. Um, so I'll stand by my comment that it's been a really crap start to the season this year. Um, so in the last video I saw I, uh, we'd pee peed the pond um, and um, I'd uh, scraped the fish and uh, got it under the microscope, couldn't see anything but the question I posed was uh, do I uh, carry on and do a fluke um, pee treatment um, as standard no one answered so I, I, took, I, peed, I, uh, I did a fluke pee treatment anyway uh, left it um, say four, four days uh, and then I did another one um, yesterday morning so it's been in and I'm actually going to um, uh, flush the filter I think I'm going to flush the filter on Monday morning uh, so that'll give three days in the uh, in the PP um, sorry not the PP the fluke P um, Silver who, who suffered from the koi sorry not the koi I've lost it this morning I've only had one cup of coffee. Um, Silver, who uh, suffered with the, the heron attack, um, we treated him, sedated him, and what, and what have you, and um, put some um, ulcer swab on and some of the um, the honey treatment, the propolis, uh, which I'm starting to think propolis is pointless. Uh, it's supposed to sort of, as soon as it hits water or anything wet, it's supposed to seal. Um, I think it was the best I ever got it this time, but it, it comes off within, I don't know, minutes. So uh, I'm starting to think that's a waste of time. Um, so I've salt bathed um, Silver this morning um, and Mickey Mouse, who is the one who ended up in the skimmer um, the first day, first night we had him. So um, I'm giving him another um, salt bath as well. Um, and I've been, I've, I've been online uh, on a on a website, um, and we we call it Ting Tong, um, but Temu, um, and Fish Media, um, Filter Media came up. So um, when you buy K1, you buy it by the litre, uh, and I think is it eight, is it eighteen? about 18 litres come with um, an easy pod when you buy it uh, and a few people have said that there's not enough K1 in there uh, could do with more uh, and I saw some and on Ting Tong Temu um, K1 media and it was sold by um, weight and for 500 grams um, it was, uh, I think it was about eight quid, seven quid, eight quid, and I thought, well, buying by the weight, a bit like the fish food, you know, you buy a big bag, uh, and it, it's sort of a couple of three kilos, is it five kilos, and you get loads, and I just thought, hang on, that might be a better deal, buying it by the weight rather than the litre. So, uh, I bought 500 grams, and it's come, but it's not K1. So that, when I'm like, that is K1 that you get in. Oh, easy boy, put the lid back on him. That is the uh, K1 that you get in the Easy Pod. Uh, what came from Ting Tong is that. So, do I add my 500 grams of, that's K1, what's that, K5000? Do I add my 500 grams of that media into the EasyPod? So, 
big surface area so I'll get more beneficial bacterial growth but will that working in conjunction with that obviously that all clubs together and then you get mechanical filtration from that as well but will that in there detract from it being all small I don't know I can't make my mind up do I save the K5000 um, and I, I I do want um, as, I, as I keep saying in the in my videos I do want some additional filtration off my skimmer um, but my skimmer pump is 16,000 litres um, and all the um, and because he the pumps in the pond and then he feeds the, the, the blade um, in my head the only thing I can put on there is something pressurized um, so <clears throat> um, yeah more mechanical filtration great um, more bacterial um, filtration that's I think that's what I'm really after but if I can get both great but um, <clears throat> yeah the all the um, pressurized filters 16,000 litres an hour is just gonna whatever goes in it's gonna blow it out so I, I won't get any benefit from it um, so I've either got to change the pump but that's got to be at least 8,000 to pull the skimmer and it's got to be at least uh, about 9,000 I think it is for the um, for the blade um, or do I just put um, a Y-shaped connector on it and divert flows and, and do it that way to reduce flows to anything else or whatever? I don't know, but should I put that in my easy body? Rhetorical question, because no one will answer it anyway, so I'm asking myself. So, yeah. Um... What I think I'll do is uh, probably get to, to Monday, uh, Monday morning before I go to work, I think I'm going to flush the filter, give it a good flushing and then uh, hopefully Monday night I um, might do another, I'll do another scrape I think just to see uh, what's on the fish uh, and if all's well then I think I'll put some beneficial bacteria back in the pond, give it a help along because it's as I say, like everybody else, we're all putting treatments in the pond and I don't think the, uh, the beneficial bacteria keeps getting knocked back and it can't, can't grow, can't thrive. So yeah, has anybody else bought that? And if they did, did they put theirs in to an easy pod or did they add theirs to a similar, sort of similar filter? Did it benefit it? No difference at all? Sort of detract from it? I would appreciate if anyone's used any of that. Cheers guys.